I'm feeling good today. I got a few things to say. Let's start off with this. Thank you guys so much for 500 subscribers. It means a lot to me that you enjoy my content, and a lot of that has to do with the Equestria at War A to Z series I'm doing. Essentially, I record these videos about a week in advance, so I have that week to edit it. As of today, it is Saturday, and I am recording the new episode. And yesterday, I uploaded my Alwani video, and the day before that, my Estlonia video blew up. I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for the support. That video, as of the time of this recording, has about a thousand views, a hundred likes, and is essentially what is responsible for getting me to 500 subscribers. A lot of devs have contacted me asking if they are able to help me in any way to support the series, which I very much appreciate. Anyways, back to complaining. I'm still stuck on this stupid continent. Okay, we're here in Ansarok today. All right, <laughs> I'm not that mad. I'm not gonna lie. The one thing I do like about this continent is that you have a lot of freedom with what you can do. All you gotta do is fix your nation and you're allowed to just go on a conquest spree. We have our good old navy of one torpedo destroyer and four, I assume, 12 width divisions. Those are not 12 widths. Okay, at least all four of these divisions are the good one. Well, I guess that depends how you define good. All right, you guys know the drill. We're gonna turn fascist and we're gonna start a conquest spree. Well, there is one thing I was thinking of. You see, I was half kidding when I said I didn't mind being on this continent, which is my excuse to try something new. My goal today is to actually beat Wing Bardi. I know Wing Bardi's gonna go down the Bicolini path, so my goal today is to try and beat them. Also, it just so happens that the day the Estlonia video blew up, the Gotu Damurung DLC came out as well. And apparently, in the three hour span the DLC came out, Equestria at War just pops up with a new update, and now we can use experimental facilities, and they just somehow magically made a new one. From what I understand, this is experimental facilities for magic technology, which is awesome. The thing is, when the DLC came out, I didn't expect it to already include these features. Like, I don't have the DLC right now. I don't. I'm broke. I'm not paying 30 bucks. I know that's a bummer to a few of you guys, but I still have the experimental facilities, and for some reason, the entire historical German tree is still here for the base game, which I'm pretty happy about. What I am going to try today, though, is trying to get something out of the land warfare facility and maybe, just maybe, a nuke. I guess I can't be too rushful, though. We gotta explore the country we're in. From what I understand about Ansaruk, once again, thank you for the Equestria at War dev team for telling me this kind of stuff. We are based off of ancient Babylonia and ancient Sumeria. At first, I was like, that is completely random, but then I realized that there's two rivers separating the country, which I think is awesome. It's such a small detail, but it explains everything. We are led by who I assume is our king. Our king. Great. Good job, me. We are led by Priest Queen Aya Nasir. Once again, if you guys are able to provide all the references to these things, there's so much. I can't research all of this. Also, I really do enjoy reading all your comments. Thank you for everyone who explained the lore behind Aislonia and uh, Alwani in the last two episodes. So I searched up Aya Nasir on Google and it brought me to this complaint tablet, which apparently used to be an internet meme. It's actually pretty relatable. If you guys have anything else, please let me know. I have no idea what species you are. Are you like a griffin or like a... That's not a donkey. Wait a minute. Does that mean? Oh yeah, baby. All right. What do we specialize in? Oh Jesus. Oh right. And I forgot the Gotu Damurung DLC added these breakthrough progress bonuses towards all of these special projects, depending on how much you research. And then they completely overhauled this tab right here. Oh look over here. They added. Ooh, was this in the base game? Because I don't think I saw it. Hydrothermal growth synthesis. It's refineries for uh, those um magic crystals. What are these called? Oh, they're just crystals. Okay. I was thinking about other kinds of crystals. Okay, what else? We got resource, supply consumption. Oh, okay, so we're like all rounders. I like this tree. It ends with cryptology for some reason, though. Down here, we're like a jack of all trades. Although from what I'm seeing, it's mostly about speed and defense, which I'm not going to complain about. But considering that my goal is to go off continent, I don't know. Okay, I just talked to a friend about this. Apparently, Hoi4 gave a lot of mods early access to the DLC. He found that post via Hoi4's Instagram, which... Hoi4 has an Instagram? What? But apparently, it gave a bunch of mods early access so they could update quicker so people don't have to wait an entire two weeks for a new update to come out so they can make the mod compatible with the DLC. The Hoi4 team is genuinely getting better and better with every new DLC. Despite these buildings being so freaking expensive because of how broken they are, I love how despite that, most of them are still cheaper than supply hubs, which I just find hilarious. Great, we still have a slave-based economy. I love this. Up. Oh. There he is. I'm taking you down, bro. I found the old nuclear button. I remember I used to love spamming nukes. If you guys have watched any of my time lapses, you would know I love nukes. I'm kind of mad that they nerfed it. 
but at the same time, it makes sense. Oh, I just realized the notifications got an update. That's awesome. Now you can see how many there are. Can you move them? Nope, they still need to fix that. Oh, but you, have, you can right-click them to dismiss them. Oh, I like that feature. That's very cool. Anyways, Longsword is blowing up. Ah, I found him. Oh, shoot, I just noticed this. The Magitek Quarries multiplies the quantity of resources in a state by 1.25? That is incredibly broken. Does Tabruk start out like that? Tabruk. Tabuk. Tabruk. This is Tobruk, right? Are these guys Australian? Or are they Egyptian? Jesus, every time I look at this area of the map, it just gets worse and worse. Oh, that's why slavery is up here and not down below the Industrial Revolution. Because some countries don't have an agrarian society. Awesome. You know what? This might be the first time in my life that I'll have to promote a general to my military staff. Because these guys are absolute crap. Wait, unlock special project radar? You need to use facilities for the radar now? It hasn't even been a year in the game yet. And what I did is with my one destroyer, I put him on exercises. And this one ship has gone back and forth to repair like five times. How do you damage yourself that badly? <laughs> Bro, Alwani is smoking them right now. Also, I have noticed that besides the obvious reference, Ansarok doesn't have any national spirits that explains its lore. So, devs, hear me out. Here's my idea. The Sumerians invented writing. Create a national spirit that gives Ansarok better coordination. It's dumb, but I think it's a good idea. Who the heck are you? Oh, oh, I'm not ready for this. I am the least bit ready for this. Yeah, I don't think I'm winning this. Now I understand why I never see these guys in any of my other games. I gotta defend my capital, whatever it takes. I am Loki last standing right now. This, um... Is it looking great for us? I'm just hoping they wear themselves out. I don't think I'm gonna be able to invade Ethiopia like this. Okay, yeah, let's restart this. Oh wait, I just realized I have no national spirit, which also means I don't have to deal with the Storm King. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to spam a bunch of small divisions so I can hopefully snake through their front line. Okay, here we go. Just go around them, here we go. This is actually going even better than I thought it would. I'm actually getting some encirclements and stuff. Okay, okay, another encirclement. We got this, guys, we got this. The airport, and into a sir. Okay, what's left? Okay, okay, okay. Move base down. Nice. I got three destroyers out of that. Okay, let's see if I can invade Abyssinia now. This is gonna be the ultimate test, because honestly, these divisions are still crap. So uh, I'm pretty sure everybody's noticed this at this point, but yeah, some of the UI is very bugged. I don't know about you guys, but <laughs> I don't think those are pilot exercises. So I'm going to create my last few civilian factories, and then after that, I'm going to build my first warfare facility. Okay, apparently, in this mod, you don't need to open up political discourse to change ideology. You can just demand the referendum the moment you get 55%. Alright, invasion of Abyssinia. Let's go! There is one thing, though. I haven't upgraded these divisions at all. My entire army is gonna get rolled over if I don't primarily be on the defense. What I can do, though, there's a few open spots on the front line, so maybe, just maybe, I can pull a few encirclements off. Or get absolutely rammed on this side of the front. Alright, here's a new idea. Snake! So the AI has no idea what's going on. Oh, you know what? That's some perfect timing. Well, with Italy in the war, or sorry, Wing Barty, we should have this war over in like no time. Ah, uh, look at that. Babylon and Italy working together. You'd never see the day unless you're playing Sid Meier Civilization. Just realized our new name is the Anseric Military Government. I'm sorry. Who are you? Please, oh please, let's get it guys. Come on, baby. Oh, let's go. I'm actually about to- That seems more fair. Right, guys? I think even the game knows that I'm spending way too much manpower garrisoning these guys. Let's just puppet them. Holy shit. They did it. Oh, yeah, baby. First land warfare facility. Oh, my goodness. All right, time to invade Meridrip. I'm gonna be real here. I want to go after Wing Barty, but I am nowhere near the strength I want to be. And since I can't really go north, I guess I'll have to go south momentarily. I'm so sorry, Alwani. Ah, 
I think I went a little overboard. I've basically conquered everything Alwani did and then some. Uh, meanwhile, that war in Equestria didn't end too well for Equus. But then, pretty big war over here kicked off. So I think it's about time we get to the point of this video. Let's go. Okay, things are already not looking too good. The entire Italian army is tank divisions, mediums and lights. I've been embargoed by Estlonia. How dare you? Surprisingly, I have naval supremacy. So maybe if I can get these marines out, I could possibly naval invade some ports and deny them of air supremacy. I didn't even need the naval invasion. We just got a breakthrough and I, yeah, we just took the port. Okay, guys, move in. My airfield now, bruv. Let the massacres begin all right these submarines are getting annoying good thing i made this cast for naval bombing oh geez did that just say zakora's resistance what on earth god damn it zakora just won so i just took over these small islands for strategic purposes because right now my navy cannot reach the carthinian coast wait i'm an idiot oh my god i have broken through baby all right y'all go in I want to say we're having a big impact, but I'm pretty sure it's the Griffonian armor that's doing most of the heavy lifting, so I guess we'll tag along. Hey guys, look what I got. I can actually do something here. I'm going to break through and cut off uh, Bicolini from New Maryland. You know what? If I can be the one to take Carthen, I think this would be all worth it. Come on, guys. Three, two, one, and the capital is ours. Okay, after we take Sud Falk, I'm pretty sure this will be the end of Bicolini. Oh my goodness. I can't believe we just did it. There we go. All right, guys, I'm going to end it there. This might have unintentionally have been my most ambitious playthrough. I swear when I conquered my smaller neighbors, I did not think I would get this big. Thank you guys so much for watching. Anyways, what is next on the list? Hold on. Where the heck is that? No, no, I am not going back to this godforsaken region. No. Let's just hope the Great Lake Federation actually works this time.